What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to another video. Um, so as most of you know, there's a huge debate in the reptile community on whether you should feed your snake in the enclosure or to put them in a feeding bin and feed them. Um, today's video, we're gonna break down the pros and cons of each, so stay tuned. <laughs> everybody so welcome back to the video um like i said we're going to be talking about um the different ways you can feed the snake um and preferences you know whether it's feeding in the enclosure or feeding in a bin um so we'll go ahead and jump right into it and we'll talk about um feeding in the enclosure um what are the pros of feeding in the enclosure um well it's less stressful on the snake you don't have to worry about this uh, the snake being moved to another enclosure and then having to move them back to the enclosure um especially if your snakes are larger like a couple of mine um, that is like pretty much impossible um luther my biggest boa is like 16 pounds doesn't sound like a not a lot but when that 16 pounds is stretched over a six foot stretched over uh, the length of 16 feet and that snake can move very quickly it's not something that you want to deal with on a daily that's probably um, the biggest uh, pro about feeding in the um, in the enclosure, which is something that I do for all of my snakes. Um, so the cons for feeding in the enclosure are you risk the um, chance of impaction, um, especially if you're feeding frozen, um, and also depending on what substrate you are using. You thaw out your rodents, uh, you give it to the snake, and you know some snakes can be a little dramatic, like. My buddy Bane here, he can be very dramatic and they'll grab the snake, they will coil and then they'll roll all around and next thing you know there's dirt all over the rodent. Um, although uh, snakes can typically digest pretty much uh, most beddings and that's what they would do in the wild, um, it's very important that you keep an eye on it because if it happens consistently, um, then it can cause issues in the long run and that's where impaction comes into play. Um, me personally, as I stated in one of my previous videos on how I prepare my rodents, um, I dry my rodents off um, and then I use Pro Cocoa, which is pretty big blocks and I have no issues at all whatsoever. Another con, um, which is controversial in itself, is that people think if you feed the snake in the enclosure, then that will make them uh, more inclined to bite you. Um, there are ways around that. If you are only going in the enclosure to feed the snake, then that may happen. They're going to associate you with food. So every time you open that tub, um, they are going to think you're giving them food. So yes, they will strike. However, if you're like myself, which most of us are, if you are handling on the days that you're not feeding um, and they're used to you and you're getting them um, used to being around you, then that is, you have a less likely, ch less likely uh, chance of that happening. So if I feed my snake on Monday and then I give them time to digest and I don't handle them again until Thursday, that Thursday to Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, um, that's that time where I'm handling my snake, getting them habituated to me and getting them to realize the difference between feeding time and handling time. So now let's talk about moving your snake. Um, what are pros to moving your snake? Um, obviously, if you're feeding in a different, uh, most people use tubs, um, there's no substrate. Um, so there's zero chance of them getting impacted or ingesting anything that they shouldn't. Another one is it contains the mess for you. Um, some snakes can be pretty messy if they squeeze the prey too hard, you know, blood splatters, or it's just, you know, feathers, fur, whatever, they can be left in the enclosure. Um, however, with the tub, if once you're done and you move the snake back to their uh, enclosure, you can just clean that up and you're good to go. Now, a lot of cons are, um, probably the biggest con is the stress of the snake. If you are taking your snake out of the enclosure and then putting them into a tub to feed them, that may increase their chances of being stressed and it may make them not want to eat, uh, but that's gonna depend on your snake. Um, another thing is, moving them back. Um, once you move them to a closure, they eat, and then you have to move them back, which is gonna also increase your chances of regurgitation, um, which you wanna avoid at all costs. Um, that is something that won't necessarily kill your snake, um, but it will make the snake very, very agitated, and it can drive them to not wanna eat at all. So that's something definitely to consider if you are moving your snakes to feed. Now, there are ways around, um, if you decide to move your snake to feed, um, there are ways around it. Um, one of the biggest ways that I see a lot of people do are is they'll put the snake in the tub, let them eat, and instead of picking the snake up directly, they'll take the tub um, and put it near their enclosure opening and let the snake slither in their self, um, which it works for some people. 
Um, but like I said, me personally, um, I have 13 snakes. I feed all of them in their enclosures. It's a lot quicker and it's way better. I don't have to worry about the stress of these snakes um, for, for me personally. Um, but once again, it's gonna depend on your snake. Um, how do they adjust? Uh, like I said, every snake is different. Um, if you have one snake and it works for you, great. Um, but if you have multiple snakes, moving your snake into a different tub may not be the best idea because it's gonna be time consuming and there, the chances are not every snake is going to eat for you. Um, so there you have it. Um, pretty pretty uh, cut dry video. There's really not too much beating around the bush with the subject because it's straight to the point. Um, like I said, me personally, I prefer to feed in the enclosure. However, um, to each their own. Should you feed in the enclosure? Should you feed in the tub? That is gonna solely be up to you and your snake. Um, so you're gonna have to definitely be the judge. I would uh, recommend feeding in the enclosure uh, because it's easier and like I said, as long as you're handling on a daily basis, um, when they're not eating, you are good to go. You won't have any issues. This guy right here, he's one of my biggest eaters. And as you can see, he is super friendly. Um, I have no problem, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's just my take on it. Um, like I said, it's a very controversial subject, so I don't want anybody saying, hey, you're wrong, this is the proper way. My opinion, this is how I do it for me, it works for me, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button, um, hit the like button so you guys don't miss a video, and as always, stay exotic.